I'm not talking. My monologue didn't go that well. I'm reading. Leave me alone. Uh. <laughs> Iraq wants the U.S. to hand over Saddam Hussein on June 30th. Well, you should hand him over. They also want permission to reinstate the death penalty, which was suspended by the U.S. military. Now, first of all, why would a military suspend a death penalty? This is terrible. This is the end of a society. Who ever heard of a military suspending a death penalty? I just realized that when I read that. It's not a government. It's people, the military, they're supposed to kill people. Why would they suspend a death penalty? But does anyone have anything to well, say first, other yeah. than to hand that son of a bitch over? This guy, this guy, you know, rapes, pillages, and murders. What are we, what's he supposed to get? Community service, you know? <laughs> we, we can't turn him over because there's a chance of him getting away in, in Iraq. Somebody yeah, they, they should find him. him back in charge. He could at least run the place. <laughs> <laughs> We know that's the Michael Moore dream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right into a hole. Yeah. Well, you know, justice in Iraq is, do you want your head cut off or your balls cut off? That's it. And that's so, how it should be. Yeah, I guess so. In, in this country, too. I'm all for killing people. I say yeah. keep him here, put him in a naked puppy pile with Rumsfeld next to him just kind of going, yeah, like that. Just humiliate him like in the uh, prison Wait, for a you while. You know what? I got to save myself. Seriously. All right, here's what you should do. Make, oh, Abu, Ghraib, save myself. make Abu Ghraib like an amusement park, all right? Oh, God. And he's the only guy in the place. He's got his own <laughs> cell, and it's like an interactive game. He's like tied to a bunk bed, and, and people could come in and go, ah! You know, and they, they chuck the dog. So it's like, no, it's like an operation game then. Right. <laughs> yeah. So they, yeah, then they could have a little cardboard cutout of Lindy England, you know, with the head missing. You could sort of stick your head there, like, hey, oh, you know what else? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. You know what else right, they, right, they could do is, uh, Make him for like eight to ten hours a day listen to Air America radio and then it'll blow his own brains out. Yo, why you gotta be um <laughs> Hey listen. maybe like put him in some other country, let him run some other country that we want to invade, and then just keep moving him around and recapturing him all the time. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know what I mean? Just do that. That's, that's a good, good idea. You know what though, do you think do you think it would be possible to get like a fair trial among Iraqis for him? Who cares? I mean, they, oh, who cares? Well, he didn't I mean, give anybody the, a fair that's trial. the funny thing is that people in this country who are so like justice for all, you have to have a fair trial, and then they're like, kill the son of a bitch. You know, they, they, I'm not like that. I don't believe in justice for yeah. all in this country either. So oh, they okay, put me fine. in that category. Cool. Cool. All right. Hey, listen to this. Does anyone else care what I just noticed at the beginning? A military? Do you understand how we've cut the very balls off this country's sense of you? Uh, the fact that we have a military that to, to suspends the death penalty is the most absurd thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. I want well, to thank you. <laughs> What's the point of a military? That says, hey, no, we don't want to kill people. Well, don't call yourself a military. You know, wouldn't that be nice? A military that didn't kill. They just, <laughs> yeah. like, hug people to yeah. death. and like, That's what it is. That's, that's, that's what cool. we have. That's that, you cool. know, we, instead of having war, we can have big bake-offs. But that's the whole like, point. You know, that's mad cool. libs and slam just, that's that's so nice. people little to go, you're bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's cool. what we're creating. Yeah. That's called a 12-step program, what you're talking about. Uh, I would have a lot more to say in this whole military thing if you would have sent me the topic last night and I could have prepared, but I have nothing on it right now. <laughs> well, who didn't send you the topic? I don't know. You just came up with it. You said you just read it and you... you no, no, you just that. now. I just saw it on the monitor. Yeah. So, so in other words, we're all kind of freeballing it and right. you're sitting here complaining because I didn't you know can't complain about this, the man, ability to say something else too. No. No. This <laughs> dummy, <laughs> this dummy, you uh, actually think we'd say to the topic you would have read it and prepared? <laughs> You were up late with some girl last night. No, right? I don't know. No, not me. Oh, you're, you're being <laughs> faithful now? I'm very faithful. All right, fine. To who? Oh, wait, wait, why would you care? It's not a he. <laughs> All right. Since the war ended tonight. Well, I'm I... sorry. Is he gay? <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Well, goodbye. Oh, come on. Goodbye. 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 Man. I know. Uh, yeah. I don't have any. <laughs> Since I didn't really war, commit to that. What about this one? Mm -hmm. Since the war ended in Iraq, Viagra sales have gone through the roof. 